welcome to this video on how to change your appliance fronts. For instance, if you're wanting to take this tall uh, oven, oven unit and change it to a single single oven inside there, you can do that. And that's what this video is going to show you. I'm also going to change the, the microwave front. Now, this is the, the Fusion QM catalog, as you notice here. And what it's going to do is we're going to, we are going to change these appliances, but we first need to take them off and then put our, put our own appliances on. So first thing I'm going to do is go to change, I click on change, and I go to change default style if I'm wanting to take out all the appliances. But if I'm wanting to just take out, out one, let's say for instance this, this unit here, all I'm going to do is highlight this unit, go to change, change selection style, which will just change this oven from here. Now you'll notice as I go down the, the screen, it's got appliance options at the bottom. You click on that, and on the right hand side you can change it to manual placement, which means that it will take the, the oven off, but keep the uh, keep the unit there, but take the oven off so you can place your own your own unit. Let me press OK. And it's now rendering so that we can we can see it without the, the oven front on. Once it is rendered, you will be able to add in your, your own oven. And if you if you go to these uh, the Fusion QM, there is a unit, if you type in oven, you've got a, a single oven and a double oven. Now if you're wanting to add in the, the single oven, let's do that. So you right click on the screen, go plan. It comes up to, to your plan view. Here I'm going to go to my straight line tool and add it in a clockwise direction. And there we go. There's my oven. Now I'm going to bring it inwards so that it, it starts from the front. So I'm going control and up just to bring it in. there we go. Now if you have a look at that in your perspective view, you'll be able to see as it's rendering, you'll be able to see the, the oven that, that comes up. I'm not sure. It looks like it's going to come off on the floor, so we need to go into elevation and, and lift it up so that it's, it's perfectly in line. There it is on the, on the floor. You can see it there. And let's go and bring it up. Right click elevation. Okay, there it is there. You go control upwards. And we'll move it up. Let's go 870. Let me move it up 900. Okay, there we go. Now, you'll notice that your single oven as you it is lifted up now now we need to actually change the door size so that it, it comes flush now we need to let's go and have a look I'm just going to take my measuring tape and go from the top and go down until here and if you look on the left hand side where it's got length it's got 680 and that's the the size of the door that I'm going to have to make that top door so Let's go into our perspective, have a look at that, and then change that, that door size. Okay, once our, our unit is in position, now let's take down this, this door um, size to 680. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this unit, then click on the information button, which is the information palette. Then I'm going to click on this third tab, which is the show the objects drawing parameters, click on that and it gives me more options. Now what I need to do is I need to go down to where it says door height. So let's go down and oven aperture. Okay, now the oven aperture here we need to change to to make it what whatever we, we need it. So let's let's do that. So let's change that 
that oven aperture to 720, which is the oven, and that would make the, the top door 680, 720. Now, again, you can change that to anything you like, just so that your, your oven can be any size, size you want as well. So let's press Enter, and you'll see that that oven aperture will change, the door will come down, and it will fit perfectly. And there we go. We've rendered it. You can see the doors drop down. There's a single oven. And again, if you're wanting to, to make this, this oven unit any size you like, you can make it uh, 700 and let it scroll down and then you can, you can see it. And there we have it. Our unit has been changed and we've made it from a, a double oven units to a single oven. Let's let's do it again on this one quickly so that we can get the gist the, the general idea of it. So you click on the unit, you go to change, change selection style, go down to where it says appliance options, change it from default appliances to manual placement, press OK and let it take it out and then you can add in your, your new your new oven. So there's our unit without the, the microwave inside. Let's add the microwave from the catalog and put our own one inside. So I'm going to plan view. I am going to just drag it in. That should be okay there. I'm wanting to, to lift it up to go into elevation view and lift it up from the floor to all the way to, to where it needs to be. So let's go. 1,400. Lift it again. Let's go 20 up. Control right. Let's make it 50 so it's in the middle. And there we go. There's our, our microwave, a new microwave that we placed in. You can you can change it and get it from from any of the different catalogs that you want. So you can go to, let's go down the, the catalog list and look at the appliance catalogs. You've got the Borknet appliances, Bosch appliances, Miele appliances, Neff appliances, Siemens appliances, and even advanced graphics on the right hand side to, to put, put any of these in. So you, you can choose any of these, these catalogs to put in any of these appliances. Now let's have a look and see what it looks like on future vision and perspective. Right click again, go perspective. Thank you for watching this video.